Breaking overnight, Rhode Island lawmakers have moved to step closer toward passing a new state budget. All those in favor of passing House Bill 5900 substitute A signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. The ayes have it. That was the House Finance Committee unanimously, unanimously approving the $8.67 billion budget proposal around 11.30 last night. Spending plan being called a pro-business budget by state leaders. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yacono is in our newsroom now with a look at the specifics and what is going to happen next. Oh, good morning. Perhaps what you will notice the most with this bill is that there is no increase in the sales or the income tax, but there's a lot more happening right now to improve the state's business climate. Speaker Mattiello himself said this budget includes two big things, supporting business growth and leveling the playing field with our neighboring states, Massachusetts and Connecticut, when it comes to business taxes. The speaker calls the bill pro-economy, pro-business, pro-jobs. It is also considered a big win for the governor herself, as the Finance Committee agreed with the majority of Governor Raimondo's ideas. Two points, however, that did not make the bill, tolls for truckers to help cover the cost of repairing the state's roads and bridges, and anything about the Pawsox relocation. Here's what Speaker Mattiello had to say after the committee vote. Each and every Rhode Islander should feel very pleased that we're moving in the right direction. We're going we're gonna to be more pro-business, have a better economy in the future, and that this budget serves the needs one way or another of each and every Rhode Islander. This isn't the end of the process, however. What was approved by the committee just last night goes to the House and the Senate next week. If it's approved there, the governor would still have to give her signature. Now, coming up in our next half hour, the theme we heard throughout the governor's gubernatorial campaign, it's resonating right now. We will hear from the head of the Finance Committee and also the governor herself in 30 minutes. In the newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News. And you'll find more in-depth coverage of this story online. WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi was at the State House for the vote last night. He breaks down what the budget includes and what is left out.